the differences between these two. Really straightforward. Respondent conditioning, also known as classical conditioning, elicits a response. In other words, it's a reflex. You don't have a choice. With respondent conditioning, the response is coming. You, it's, it's happening. No choice there at all. Right? Again, it's a reflex. With operant conditioning, you are emitting re a response. Okay? Uh, so it's, it's coming from the organism first, then the environment is acting on it. Okay? Again, we might even, you might even say that there's a choice there. Right? Another way to classify this is respondent conditioning. Okay? Yields eliciting is about eliciting behavior. In other words, it's about involuntary behavior. Operant conditioning is about when the organism emits a behavior. In other words, it's about voluntary behavior. They both have extinction. You can extinguish the response. You, um, the, the curves look similar other than the extinction burst. You know, uh, operant conditioning produces an extinction burst, whereas classical conditioning does not. Conditioned stimuli and discriminative stimuli, they're very similar in a sense, right? So the conditioned stim, but, but, the, but in this case, the conditioned stimulus elicits, it pulls a response out of you. Okay. Whereas a discriminative stimulus just says that a, a, a particular response is going to be reinforced. A discriminative stimulus is more like a, hey, you might want to do this right now because you're going to get something out of it. Whereas a conditioned stimulus says, you're going to do this right now, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing, right? So the conditioned stimulus produces a response. It's, it's automatic. It's coming, okay, uh, once it's been developed. And then the SD is more like, uh, it's a gentle nudge, right? Um, it's a little stronger than that, but I'm trying to make the distinction obvious. And sorry about freaking everybody out and banging on the table.